Let's talk about better ball striking. There's one move in particular that you have to master to become a good ball striker, and it's the movement towards the lead hand side. So if I get set up to this golf ball here, what I need to do is I need to produce good backswing, and I need to be able to shift my weight nicely towards my left hand side to be able to get a good strike. Now, someone who's a great example of huge repeatability, and obviously fantastic ball striking is Scott Scheffler. And a lot of people are commenting on Scotty Scheffler's golf swing, particularly his footwork, and sort of like doing, I would say, different sorts of movements. But I think Scotty Scheffler sort of answered the question himself. I saw a, a short where he just basically talks about all he tries to do to, to get repeatability is move left. That's all he tries to do. He just focuses on moving left, okay, as I'm demonstrating here, which gives him good repeatability. And that's what I want to talk about. So what we're going to do first and foremost is I'm going to grab a golf ball. Now the yellow stick that's on the floor is going to represent like my symmetry. So if you were to divide me into half. And what needs to happen to become a good ball striker is we have to introduce an element of sway. Sway basically means movement to the left, like so. And if I start my downswing or when we start my downswing, what I need to do, particularly in that sort of coming into this delivery position as I pause here, you can see the way my sternum and my pelvis is to the left of that line. And that basically means, because I would have my golf ball like here, it's probably a little bit far forward, probably about here. As I start my down, so you can see the way that my sternum and my pelvis are over the golf ball in this delivery position. And that's only happening through swaying, like Scott Scheffler says, moving towards the left-hand side. Okay. Now, the reason why I think this is important is because there's a, a, an element of sometimes confusion of how do you move left and, and should you then move left and then turn or should you throw and then turn. And I think there's always going to be that subjectivity because I think it will come down to what it feels like to you as an individual. But what I wanted to do in this video is just make sure that we understood that it is a sort of simultaneous movement. So if I grab this and place it through my chest, and then I get set up to this golf ball here. So in the backswing position, what would happen is I would sort of take the club back and then I would sort of turn, okay? So my pelvis moves towards my right-hand side as my head stays still, and this helps me produce an element of extension, like so, okay? Now, as I sort of swing back like this, okay? So if you're somebody who moves like this, this is why you'll really struggle, right? And there'll be lots of online students that'll be sort of nodding here. So the feeling to fix this type of position will be to move your pelvis more to the right in the backswing. From here, as you then come down, like I say, we know that we need to move to the left of that theoretical line or over towards the ball. So that's going to be an element of linear motion, but it also has to be rotational, like so. Okay, so you can see the way that I'm rotating to my lead side, because obviously if I literally did this, although this might be a feeling, you'd get stuck, you wouldn't be able to swing through. So it has to be this type of rotational movement, like so. And then what happens, you see, as we go into the through swing, if I want to focus on my lower body here, is if we're going to carry on turning towards the target okay like so like this and the more that you emphasize this feeling of moving to your left as you turn see so what i'm doing here then the more that you're going to end up producing more of a sway and the more sway that you produce the more that that right foot will potentially end up getting dragged in so scotty scheffler spoke about it himself he said that the what he does to guarantee good shots is he makes sure that he feels like he's moving to the left and what I'm basically trying to say is I've seen lots of videos around Scotty Scheffler's footwork but really all it is is if you practice at home moving your pelvis to the left in a rotational manner like this this will drag your foot along so the message is you need to move left right that's the big message and what I'm also trying to suggest is try to make sure as you start this downswing it's a rotation to the left okay like so but the big thing really is that, like with Scotty Scheffler, as long as you keep your head still, okay, and you carry on turning through the ball, similar to our backswing explanation, you'll end up in a state of extension again. And that's what you're looking for. So if you're somebody who stays on the back foot, or if you're somebody who thinks you're supposed to do this in the downswing, right, take a leaf out of Scotty Scheffler's book. And what I'm trying to say is you need to move to the left, as I'm demonstrating there. And the more that your pelvis sways, in a rotational manner, meaning the more it moves to the left in a rotational manner, the more that right foot can come with you. And I'm certainly not suggesting you should mimic it, but there's been golfers like this before. There'll be golfers like this again, but the big message is move left. I'll see you soon.